departure from Brunton Park was rather low-key. Their impact on Tottenham's White Hart Lane was not. Spurs under fire manager Jerry Francis was an absentee, but the early signs were that his Premiership stars meant business. Rob Palmer was there. And right in the first minute of the game, Tottenham Hotspur take the lead. Neil Fenn making his presence known. Well, a confidence booster for the youngster in the side with a heavy responsibility on his shoulders with no Armstrong or Ferdinand, and didn't he take that well? No indications that they can improve on the one-goal lead. Have to be careful, though. McAlinden rides the challenge of Gary Mabbott. Two in the centre, plays it to the near post. Carlisle equaliser, Andy Cousins. Well, the couple of thousand Carlisle fans who've made the journey south have some reward for their loyalty. A slight slip on the greasy service from Gary Mabbott. Perfect cross and brilliantly executed by Cousins. Jansen heads on. Aspinall spins away. Oh, yes, he's got a second. Oh, my word. Two goals in four minutes to Carlisle United. And two beautifully taken goals. The second from Warren Aspinall on top of one from Andy Cousins. The slightest lapse in concentration and he made Spurs pay. You see all that? Good run from Fox. Great turn from Fox. Great goal from Fox. Oh, yes. Will Fox's second goal of the season, but probably the best one that he scored for a long, long time. Well, the defenders couldn't have had a clue what he was going to do there. A Cruyff-like turn and a Lineker-type finish. Clements. Ginola had more touches than any other Spurs player in the second half. That's a very good touch by him. That's a very good goal for Paul Mahorn. Well, when Spurs score, they're scoring spectacular goals. Again, it's David Ginola, the creator of the goal. But much of the work that went down to the brilliance of Paul Mahorn. All to play for in the Brunton Park return leg on the 30th of September.